As Gautama Buddha once said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. In a world filled with distractions and external demands, it's easy to lose sight of the most important relationship we have, the one with ourselves. Focusing on oneself isn't selfish. It's an act of self-love and self-care, essential for navigating life's complexities with clarity and resilience. We invite you to join us as we explore the transformative power of turning inward, embracing self-compassion, and witnessing the profound shifts that unfold when we prioritize our own well-being. Let's embark on this journey together and see what happens when we focus on ourselves. Number one, understanding the concept of self-focus. Focusing on oneself involves directing attention inward toward our thoughts, emotions and behaviors. It's about cultivating a deep sense of self-awareness and understanding our own needs, desires and motivations. This practice isn't about selfishness or self-indulgence, rather, it's about nurturing a compassionate relationship with ourselves, much like we would with a close friend or loved one. Self-focus is the cornerstone of personal growth and inner peace, because it allows us to peel back the layers of conditioning and societal expectations to uncover our true essence. Through self-awareness, we become attuned to the intricacies of our inner landscape, the fears that hold us back, the beliefs that shape our perceptions and the patterns that govern our behavior. With this awareness comes the power to make conscious choices aligned with our values and aspirations. Self-reflection is another vital component of the journey toward inner peace by setting aside time for introspection. We create space to examine our thoughts, emotions and experiences with curiosity and compassion. Self-reflection invites us to question our assumptions, challenge limiting beliefs, and explore the deeper truths that lie beneath the surface. It's through this process of introspection that we uncover the root causes of our suffering and discover pathways to healing and transformation. In essence, understanding the concept of self-focus is about recognizing that our relationship with ourselves is the foundation upon which all other relationships and experiences are built. By nurturing a compassionate connection with ourselves, we lay the groundwork for a life filled with authenticity, purpose, and fulfillment. Through self-awareness and self-reflection, we embark on a journey of self-discovery that leads us closer to the profound peace and inner harmony we seek. Number two, Letting go of external distractions. In our modern, fast-paced world, external distractions abound, vying for our attention at every turn. From the constant buzz of notifications on our phones to the pressures of social media and the demands of work and family, it's easy to become overwhelmed and lose sight of our innermost selves. Yet, if we truly wish to focus on ourselves and cultivate inner peace, we must learn to detach from these external influences that pull us away from our path of self-growth. Detaching from external distractions doesn't mean isolating ourselves from the world or cutting off all forms of communication. Instead, it involves creating healthy boundaries and consciously choosing where to direct our attention and energy. This might mean setting aside specific times each day to disconnect from technology, turning off notifications, or decluttering our physical environment to create a space conducive to inner reflection and contemplation. One powerful technique for minimizing external distractions is the practice of mindfulness. By bringing our awareness to the present moment and gently redirecting our attention whenever it wanders, we learn to cultivate a sense of inner calm and focus amidst the chaos of daily life. Mindfulness allows us to observe our thoughts, emotions and sensations with curiosity and non-judgment, helping us to break free from the grip of external distractions and reconnect with our innermost selves. Another technique for fostering internal focus is the cultivation of presence. 
Presence involves fully immersing ourselves in whatever we're doing, whether it's eating a meal, engaging in conversation, or simply taking a walk in nature. By bringing our full attention to the present moment and letting go of worries about the past or future, we can experience a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. We create space for deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. In this state of presence, external distractions fade into the background and we find ourselves more attuned to the richness and beauty of life unfolding in each moment. In essence, letting go of external distractions is essential for nurturing our inner peace and focusing on ourselves. By consciously choosing where to direct our attention and cultivating practices such as mindfulness and presence, we create the space and clarity needed to embark on the journey of self-discovery with openness and authenticity. Number three, embracing impermanence and non-attachment. Central to Buddhist teachings is the profound understanding of impermanence and the practice of non-attachment. In Buddhism, impermanence, or anicca, refers to the universal truth that all things are in a constant state of flux and change. Nothing in this world, not our relationships, possessions, or even our own selves, is permanent or immutable. This recognition of impermanence invites us to loosen our grip on the fleeting aspects of life and embrace the ever-changing nature of existence. Non-attachment, or anatta, complements the concept of impermanence by urging us to release our attachments and desires for things to be a certain way. It's not about denying our feelings or detaching ourselves from the world, but rather it's about cultivating a sense of inner freedom and equanimity in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. By letting go of our attachment to outcomes and relinquishing our identification with fleeting phenomena, we open ourselves up to a deeper sense of peace and contentment. Embracing impermanence and non-attachment leads to greater freedom and inner peace in several ways. First and foremost, it frees us from the tyranny of clinging to things that are inherently transient. When we release our attachment to external circumstances, whether it's a relationship, a job, or a material possession. We liberate ourselves from the suffering that arises when those things inevitably change or disappear. Instead of seeking fulfillment in security in the external world, we learn to find refuge within ourselves, tapping into the boundless reservoir of peace and contentment that resides at the core of our being. Furthermore, Embracing impermanence and non-attachment fosters a profound sense of interconnectedness and interdependence with all of life. When we recognize that everything is impermanent and interconnected, we begin to see ourselves as part of a larger whole, inseparable from the intricate web of existence. This realization cultivates a sense of compassion, empathy, and gratitude for the myriad beings and phenomena that weave together the tapestry of our shared reality. In essence, by embracing impermanence and non-attachment, we liberate ourselves from the shackles of craving and clinging, opening our hearts and minds to the vast expanse of possibility and potentiality that lies beyond. Through the practice of letting go, we discover a profound sense of freedom, joy, and peace that transcends the transient fluctuations of the world around us. Number four, practicing mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness and meditation are powerful practices that play a crucial role in fostering self-focus and inner peace. Mindfulness can be described as the practice of paying deliberate attention to the present moment with an attitude of openness, curiosity, and non-judgment. It involves bringing awareness to our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surroundings without getting caught up in judgments or reactions. By cultivating mindfulness, we learn to become more attuned to our inner experiences and the world around us, fostering a deeper sense of presence and self-awareness. Regular meditation practice is one of the most effective ways to cultivate mindfulness and enhance self-focus.
Meditation involves intentionally setting aside time to sit quietly and observe the fluctuations of the mind without getting swept away by them. Through practices such as breath awareness, body scans, and loving-kindness meditation, we train our minds to become more focused, resilient, and compassionate. One of the key benefits of regular meditation practice is its ability to calm the mind and reduce stress. In today's fast-paced world, many of us are constantly bombarded with stimuli and distractions that can leave us feeling overwhelmed and anxious. Meditation offers a refuge from the chaos of daily life, providing a space to pause, breathe, and reconnect with our inner calm. By cultivating a regular meditation practice, we learn to quiet the chatter of the mind, soothe frazzled nerves, and find respite from the stresses of modern living. Furthermore, meditation is a powerful tool for increasing self-awareness and understanding. As we sit in stillness and observe the workings of our own minds, we begin to uncover patterns of thought, emotion, and behavior that may have previously gone unnoticed. Through this process of self-exploration, we gain valuable insights into our inner landscape, our fears, desires, and habitual reactions, paving the way for greater self-understanding and personal growth. In essence, Practicing mindfulness and meditation is a transformative journey of self-discovery and self-mastery. By cultivating present moment awareness and training our minds to become more focused and resilient, we deepen our connection with ourselves and the world around us. Number 5. Cultivating Self-Compassion and Self-Love Self-compassion and self-love, treating oneself with kindness and compassion, is a cornerstone of self-focus and inner peace. All too often, we are our own harshest critics, quick to judge ourselves for our perceived shortcomings and failures. Yet, just as we would extend empathy and understanding to a friend in need, it's essential to cultivate the same level of compassion towards ourselves. Recognizing our inherent worth and deservingness of love and kindness is fundamental to nurturing a healthy relationship with ourselves. One powerful technique for developing self-compassion is through the practice of self-talk. Pay attention to the way you speak to yourself internally. Replace self-criticism and negative self-talk with words of encouragement, understanding and support. Treat yourself as you would a dear friend, offering kindness and compassion in moments of difficulty or self-doubt. Another effective strategy for cultivating self-compassion is through self-care practices. Engage in activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. Whether it's taking a leisurely walk in nature, indulging in a soothing bath, or practicing yoga or meditation, prioritize activities that bring you joy and replenish your energy, honoring your own needs and well-being. Furthermore, developing self-love involves learning to accept and embrace all aspects of ourselves, the light and the shadow, the strengths and the vulnerabilities. Recognize that you are worthy of love and belonging exactly as you are, with all your imperfections and flaws. Embrace your uniqueness and celebrate your inherent worthiness. Cultivating a deep sense of self-love and acceptance is an essential aspect of focusing on oneself and nurturing inner peace. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we create a foundation of self-worth and resilience that empowers us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. Through practices such as self-talk, self-care and self-acceptance, we deepen our connection with ourselves and cultivate a profound sense of inner harmony and well-being. Number 6. Setting Boundaries and Prioritizing Self-Care Setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care is essential for protecting our mental, emotional and physical well-being. Boundaries serve as guidelines that define acceptable behavior and interactions helping us to establish healthy relationships and maintain a sense of autonomy and self-respect. 
Without clear boundaries, we risk becoming overwhelmed and depleted by the demands of others, leading to feelings of resentment, stress and burnout. It's important to recognize that setting boundaries isn't selfish or uncaring. Rather, it's an act of self-love and self-preservation. By clearly communicating our needs, limits and preferences to others, we create space for authentic connection and mutual respect in our relationships. Boundaries empower us to prioritize our own well-being without guilt or apology, allowing us to honor our needs and values while still being compassionate and considerate towards others. Establishing healthy habits and prioritizing self-care is another crucial aspect of focusing on oneself and nurturing inner peace. Self-care encompasses a wide range of activities and practices that promote physical, mental and emotional well-being, from getting enough sleep and exercise to engaging in hobbies and activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. Prioritizing self-care isn't selfish. It's an essential investment in our own health and happiness that enables us to show up fully in our lives and relationships. One tip for establishing healthy habits and prioritizing self-care is to create a daily routine that includes dedicated time for self-care activities. Whether it's setting aside time each morning for meditation and journaling or scheduling regular breaks throughout the day to rest and recharge, Having a consistent routine can help ensure that self-care remains a priority in our busy lives. Another tip is to practice self-compassion and forgiveness when we inevitably fall short of our self-care goals. Life is unpredictable and there will be times when our self-care routines are disrupted by unforeseen circumstances or competing priorities. Rather than berating ourselves for not living up to our own expectations, practice self-compassion and remind ourselves that it's okay to prioritize our own well-being and adjust our self-care practices as needed. Number seven, reflecting on personal values and goals. Reflecting on personal values and goals is essential for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Our values represent the principles and beliefs that guide our decisions and behaviors while our goals reflect our aspirations and desires for the future. When we align our actions with our values and work towards meaningful goals, we create a sense of purpose and direction that enriches our lives and brings us greater fulfillment. I encourage you to set aside some time for introspection and reflection to explore what truly matters to you and what you hope to achieve in life. Consider the qualities and ideals that you hold dear, whether it's honesty, compassion, creativity, or freedom. Reflect on the experiences and moments that have brought you the most joy and fulfillment, and ask yourself what values these experiences align with. Once you've identified your core values, take a closer look at your goals and aspirations. Are they in alignment with your values, or are they driven by external expectations or societal norms? By ensuring that your goals are rooted in your values, you can create a sense of coherence and authenticity in your life, where your actions are guided by your deepest convictions and aspirations. Aligning your actions with your personal values not only leads to a more fulfilling life, but also enhances your sense of integrity and authenticity. When we live in accordance with our values, we experience a greater sense of congruence between our innermost selves and the way we show up in the world. This alignment fosters a deep sense of self-respect and self-acceptance as we honor our own truth and live with integrity. Furthermore, living in alignment with our values helps to cultivate resilience and inner strength in the face of adversity. When we encounter challenges or setbacks, our values serve as guiding principles that help us navigate difficult decisions and stay true to ourselves. By anchoring ourselves in our values, we find the courage and determination to persevere in pursuit of our goals, even in the face of obstacles or setbacks. 
in essence, reflecting on our personal values and goals is a powerful practice for fostering a sense of purpose, fulfillment and authenticity in our lives. By aligning our actions with our values and working towards meaningful goals, we create a life that is rich in meaning and fulfillment, where every moment is infused with purpose and passion. Number 8. Accepting Responsibility for Personal Growth One of the most empowering steps we can take on our journey towards self-improvement is to accept responsibility for our own growth and development. It's easy to blame external circumstances or other people for our shortcomings or lack of progress, but true empowerment comes from recognizing that we have the power to shape our own lives and create the outcomes we desire. By taking ownership of our journey towards personal growth, we reclaim agency over our lives and move from a place of passivity to one of active participation and engagement. I encourage you to embrace the idea that you are the architect of your own destiny, that your thoughts, choices and actions have the power to shape the course of your life. Instead of waiting for external validation or permission to pursue your goals and dreams, take the initiative to chart your own path and take deliberate steps towards self-improvement. Remember that personal growth is a journey, not a destination, and that every small step you take towards your goals is a victory in itself. Taking responsibility for our personal growth also means acknowledging that we have the power to change and grow regardless of our past experiences or circumstances. While external factors may influence our lives, it is ultimately our response to those factors that determines our outcomes. By embracing personal responsibility, we shift our focus from dwelling on past mistakes or limitations to focusing on the present moment and the opportunities for growth and learning that it offers. Moreover, accepting responsibility for our personal growth empowers us to cultivate a growth mindset, a belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and effort. Instead of viewing challenges or setbacks as insurmountable obstacles, we see them as opportunities for growth and learning. This mindset shift fosters resilience, determination and a willingness to embrace change and adversity as catalysts for personal transformation. In essence, accepting responsibility for our personal growth is a powerful act of self-empowerment that opens the door to limitless possibilities and potential. By taking ownership of our journey towards self-improvement, we reclaim agency over our lives and step into our true power as creators of our own destiny. Number 9. Embracing Vulnerability and Authenticity In the journey of personal growth, one of the most transformative experiences we can embrace is the practice of vulnerability and authenticity. Vulnerability involves allowing ourselves to be seen and heard, to show up as our true selves without pretense or masks. It requires us to open our hearts and share our deepest fears, insecurities and truths with others, even when it feels uncomfortable or risky. Authenticity, on the other hand, entails living in alignment with our values, beliefs and innermost desires, expressing ourselves honestly and genuinely in every aspect of our lives. Embracing vulnerability and authenticity is not easy. It requires courage and a willingness to step outside of our comfort zones, to confront our fears of rejection or judgment, and to embrace the uncertainty that comes with being truly seen. Yet, it is through this act of vulnerability that we open ourselves up to deeper connections and richer experiences in life. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable and authentic, we invite others to do the same. We create a space for genuine connection and intimacy, where walls come down and hearts open up. By sharing our struggles, triumphs and vulnerabilities with others, we foster empathy, compassion and understanding, strengthening our bonds and deepening our relationships. Moreover, 
Embracing vulnerability and authenticity allows us to live with greater integrity and alignment with our true selves. When we stop pretending to be someone we're not and instead embrace our authentic selves, we experience a profound sense of freedom and liberation. We no longer feel the need to hide behind masks or personas, but instead we show up in the world as our true, imperfect and beautifully human selves. By embracing vulnerability and authenticity, we also cultivate a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose in life. When we live authentically, we align our actions with our values and passions, creating a life that is rich in meaning and purpose. We no longer chase after external validation or approval, but instead find fulfillment in being true to ourselves and living in alignment with our deepest truths. In essence, Embracing vulnerability and authenticity is a powerful practice for personal growth and transformation. By opening ourselves up to the full range of human experiences and embracing our true selves, we unlock the door to deeper connections, greater fulfillment, and a life that is rich in meaning and purpose. Number 10. Finding Balance in Life Life in the hustle and bustle of modern life, finding balance is key to maintaining our overall well-being and happiness. Balance entails harmonizing various aspects of our lives, including work, relationships and self-care, to ensure that no single area dominates at the expense of others. When we strike a balance between our responsibilities and passions, we create a life that is fulfilling, sustainable and aligned with our values and priorities. It's essential to recognize the interconnectedness of different areas of our lives and strive for balance in each one. While it's tempting to pour all our energy into our careers or relationships, neglecting other aspects of our lives can lead to burnout, dissatisfaction and a sense of emptiness. By consciously allocating time and energy to work, relationships and self-care, we cultivate a sense of equilibrium that nourishes our mind, body and spirit. Prioritizing activities that nourish the mind, body and spirit is key to finding balance in life. This may include carving out time for hobbies and interests that bring us joy and fulfillment, such as reading, painting or gardening. It may also involve prioritizing self-care practices such as exercise, meditation or spending time in nature that rejuvenate and recharge us physically, mentally and emotionally. One tip for finding balance in life is to establish boundaries around work and technology use. In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to become consumed by work emails, social media notifications and other digital distractions. Setting aside designated times for work and unplugging from technology during leisure hours can help create a healthier balance between work and personal life, allowing us to fully engage with our relationships and hobbies without distractions. Additionally, Cultivating mindfulness and presence in daily life can help us find balance by bringing our attention to the present moment and fostering a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the here and now. By savoring the simple pleasures of life and being fully present with ourselves and others, we cultivate a deeper sense of connection and fulfillment that transcends the demands of our busy lives. In essence, Finding balance in life is a continual process of self-awareness, intentionality and prioritization. By honoring our needs and values and striving to create harmony between work, relationships and self-care, we create a life that is balanced, fulfilling and aligned with our deepest truths. Remember that balance looks different for everyone and it's essential to listen to your own needs and find what works best for you. Number 11. Letting go of comparison and judgment. Comparing ourselves to others and engaging in judgmental thoughts can be incredibly detrimental to our well-being and inner peace. When we constantly measure ourselves against others, 
whether it's in terms of success, appearance or achievements, we set ourselves up for feelings of inadequacy, insecurity and unworthiness. Comparison robs us of the joy of our own accomplishments and prevents us from fully embracing our unique journey and individuality. One of the most significant dangers of comparison is that it often leads to a distorted perception of reality. We tend to compare our inner struggles and insecurities to others' outward successes and perceived strengths, creating a false sense of inadequacy and unworthiness. In reality, everyone faces challenges and setbacks on their journey, and no one's life is perfect. By comparing ourselves to others, we overlook our own strengths, resilience and unique gifts, undermining our self-confidence and self-esteem in the process. To let go of comparison and judgment, it's essential to cultivate self-awareness and self-compassion. Begin by noticing when comparison and judgment arise in your thoughts and gently redirect your attention to the present moment. Remind yourself that your worth is not determined by external factors or the achievements of others, but by the inherent value and dignity you possess as a human being. Another strategy for letting go of comparison and judgment is to practice gratitude and appreciation for the unique qualities and experiences that make you who you are. Take time each day to reflect on your accomplishments, strengths and blessings, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment that transcends comparison and judgment. Furthermore, embrace the idea that everyone's journey is unique and valid in its own right. Instead of comparing yourself to others, celebrate their successes and accomplishments, knowing that their achievements do not diminish your own worth or potential. Recognize that each person's path is shaped by their individual circumstances, challenges and aspirations, and that there is no one-size-fits-all definition of success or fulfillment. In essence, letting go of comparison and judgment is essential for cultivating inner peace, self-acceptance and authenticity. By recognizing the detrimental effects of comparison and judgment and embracing strategies for letting go, you create space for greater self-awareness, self-compassion and appreciation for your unique journey and individuality. Remember that you are worthy and deserving of love and acceptance exactly as you are and that your worth is not determined by how you measure up to others. Number 12. Practicing Gratitude and contentment. Practicing gratitude is a powerful way to cultivate a sense of appreciation and abundance in our lives. Gratitude involves recognizing and acknowledging the blessings, big and small, that we encounter each day, from the air we breathe to the relationships we cherish. By shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and contentment that enriches our overall well-being and outlook on life. Research has shown that practicing gratitude has numerous benefits for our mental, emotional and physical health. Gratitude has been linked to increased happiness, resilience and optimism, as well as decreased feelings of stress, anxiety and depression. When we regularly express gratitude for the blessings in our lives, we train our minds to notice and appreciate the positive aspects of our experiences, even in the midst of challenges or difficulties. One simple way to practice gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're grateful for each day. These can be anything from a beautiful sunrise to a kind gesture from a friend or loved one. By taking time each day to reflect on the blessings in our lives, we cultivate a sense of gratitude and contentment that uplifts us and enhances our overall well-being. We cultivate a sense of appreciation and abundance that permeates every aspect of our existence. Cultivating contentment is closely intertwined with practicing gratitude and involves finding satisfaction and fulfillment in the present moment, 
regardless of external circumstances. Contentment doesn't mean that we stop striving for growth or improvement. Rather, it's about recognizing that true happiness comes from within and isn't dependent on external achievements or possessions. When we cultivate contentment, we free ourselves from the endless cycle of striving and longing for more and instead find peace and fulfillment in the here and now. Moreover, cultivating contentment leads to greater satisfaction with life and a deeper sense of inner peace. When we learn to appreciate and savor the simple pleasures of life, we find joy and fulfillment in the ordinary moments that make up our days. Contentment allows us to let go of the need for constant external validation or approval and instead find fulfillment in being true to ourselves and living in alignment with our values and passions. In essence, practicing gratitude and cultivating contentment are powerful practices for nurturing a sense of appreciation, abundance and inner peace in our lives. By shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have and finding satisfaction in the present moment, we create a life that is rich in meaning, joy and fulfillment. Remember that gratitude is a practice that can be cultivated and nurtured each day leading to greater happiness and well-being in the long run. Number 13. Embracing the Journey of Self-Discovery Embracing the journey of self-discovery is a profound and transformative experience that invites us to delve deep into the depths of our being with openness and curiosity. It's a journey of exploration, introspection and growth that leads us to uncover the hidden truths, desires, and potentials that lie within us. While the path of self-discovery may be challenging at times, it is also immensely rewarding, offering us the opportunity to cultivate greater self-awareness, authenticity, and fulfillment in our lives. I encourage you to approach the journey of self-discovery with an open heart and mind, embracing the unknown with curiosity and excitement rather than fear or resistance. Recognize that self-discovery is not a destination to be reached. By embracing the journey with openness and curiosity, we create space for growth, exploration and transformation in every aspect of our lives. As we embark on the journey of self-discovery, we inevitably encounter aspects of ourselves that may be challenging or uncomfortable to confront. Yet, it is through these moments of discomfort and uncertainty that we experience the most profound growth and transformation. By leaning into these experiences with courage and vulnerability, we uncover hidden strengths, overcome limiting beliefs, and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. Reflecting on the growth and transformation that come from focusing on oneself, we begin to recognize the profound impact that self-discovery has on every aspect of our lives. By taking the time to explore our innermost thoughts, feelings and desires, we gain clarity and insight into who we are and what truly matters to us. This self-awareness empowers us to make conscious choices aligned with our values and aspirations, leading to greater fulfillment, authenticity and purpose in our lives. Moreover, embracing the journey of self-discovery opens the door to deeper connections with ourselves and others. When we know and accept ourselves fully, we show up more authentically in our relationships, fostering greater intimacy, understanding and empathy with those around us. Through self-discovery, we cultivate a profound sense of self-acceptance and self-love that radiates outward, enriching every aspect of our lives and relationships. In essence, embracing the journey of self-discovery is a transformative journey of growth, exploration and transformation. By approaching the journey with openness and curiosity, we unlock the door to greater self-awareness, authenticity and fulfillment in our lives. Remember that self-discovery is a lifelong journey and each step we take along the way brings us closer to realizing our true potential and living a life that is rich in meaning, purpose and joy. 
conclusion. In conclusion, focusing on oneself is not an act of selfishness, but rather a journey of self-discovery, growth and inner peace. By embracing practices such as mindfulness, self-compassion and gratitude, we cultivate a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Through letting go of comparison, embracing vulnerability and prioritizing self-care, we create a life that is authentic, balanced and fulfilling. Remember, the journey of self-discovery is ongoing and each step we take towards self-awareness and authenticity brings us closer to a life of joy, purpose and fulfillment. So let us embark on this journey with courage, curiosity and an open heart, knowing that the greatest adventure lies within ourselves.